because that's far away. Yeah. Um, Brad, are you proud, disappointed? How are you got the emotions after that one? How do you think um, that one came out? Probably, uh, you're right there. You good? <laughs> Probably a whole heap of that, mate. Yeah. Um, Obviously disappointed we came down here to get a job done and um, we came close but uh, didn't get their credit to the Brumbies. Um, um, yeah, they, they got that result and um, that's f fantastic for them in front of their, their home crowd there. Um, yeah, we'll be, we're disappointed. Um, on, aside from that, yeah, proud of uh, everyone involved with Queensland Rugby, you know, with the, with the team, the staff. Um, we started in November, and uh, here we are now. So uh, it's basically about 10 months, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of people put in a lot of effort. And um, yeah, uh, so yeah. Where do you think the game's won and lost? Um, well, it was pretty close, down to what, 22 out, four minutes to go. Um, there's five points in it. It's pretty close, wasn't it? So uh, I think um, there's quite a bit of stop-start throughout the game. Um, uh, yeah, there was uh, you know, the infringements. You know, we, we probably hurt ourselves a bit, um, but the guys uh, competed hard. Uh, the score sort of got out to I think maybe around 14 points or something. The guys showed what they've showed all the way along, um, which is their ticker and, and resilience and determination they, yeah, to get back in the game. It was pretty close in the end, wasn't it? So, yeah. A few talented young guys come through the Reds at the moment. Does that give you, I suppose, a bit of confidence looking ahead to the future? Yeah, yeah I think everyone, uh, you know, everyone's talked about you know, the, the talent that's coming through here and some good talent with the Bumbies as well and it's good for Australian rugby it's really good for Queensland um, uh, you know but end of the day it's not much fun losing grand finals is it <laughs> so you know um, um, but you know in this situation you just want to show respect to your opponent and uh, well done to them you know they, they put in a big year as and you know, they came in, um, you know, they qualified you know, number one spot. And they, they got the job done tonight and um, it's good for, you know, well done to the Brumbies. There's plenty of enthusiasm, um, perhaps, were they too overzealous with this inexperience? Did that push it on a little bit with some of those reckless tackles? Yeah, the guys are just ripping in and, um, um, yeah, but so sometimes that happens, you know. But uh, I'd, I'd prefer them be enthusiastic than yeah, you know, holding back. So um, yeah, they competed hard, and like I said, the score got away a little bit. In the end, you know, it came down to five points. If you think about it, this year, apart from a couple of weeks ago, you had I think the game was two points. Round one of this, you know, original Super Rugby or three points, and then the last time we played here, I think it was two points or something. So um, it's been another tight one, and uh, it, you know, it's good. Uh, it's a good uh, competition between the two sides. You know, it's it's, it's good. Uh, good competition there. So, but yeah, they were better today, and um, hats off to them. Jordy Patola, any update? Yeah, well, as a Queensland coach, I was concerned too. Yeah, he's a guy you'd like to have out there 30 minutes, and he was. Uh, yeah, I think he's he'll be okay. I think he might have just uh, twinged his um, hip pointer or something, so um, just got too uncomfortable for him there. And you know, we changed Geordie. You know, ideally, he's out there for the full game. Yeah, he got a head knock there, and um, yeah, it was disappointing for him. Um, but that's sometimes that happens, and uh, he's been huge, had a huge growth this year, Luke Khan, and I know he's been a wonderful support for 
for Liam. Um, and, um, yeah, he, he'd be disappointed around that happening because he would have wanted to play that 480 and, and try and get the result. Just your thoughts, Liam. What, what do you say to the guys after that? Um, yeah, it's like we said, it's not fun losing grand finals, but um, we were pretty enthusiastic going into that and perhaps too much. We'll deal with that when we review it or whatever, but we've just got a lot of respect for the Brumbies. They were um, a really good team. They're always great competitors and they're, they're good fellas off the field. So um, at the moment, we're pretty gutted, but um, all you can do is dip your hats to them and, and congratulate them. And, uh, you know, our boys. We didn't leave anything out there, which is all we ever ask, and uh, we can live with that for now. Brad, do you think you're losing this one? You have to lose one sometimes to win one? No, no, no. No, you don't have to. But uh, um, I just think, you know, once again, well done to the Brumbies. Um, a tough assignment to, to, to um, you know, a good team, and they work they're working hard and, um, and uh, they got the job done tonight. And, you know, with our team, um, last week was a good experience from with the Rebels. Uh, it wasn't an easy one, and, and to play in a grand final, um, like I said, gutting. We wanted to get the result, but not to be. And sometimes you got to learn to, uh, you know, you, you just have to, you know. Accept that and show respect to your opponent. You know, you come back next time, and um, yeah, you, you, hopefully you get back again and have another crack. What's your future for you around the Reds this year? I I've just been worrying about this at the moment, um, but um, now that this has come to an end, you know, I'm, I'm sure we'll, I'll, you know, there'll be chats and, and whatnot going around there. So, but. Um, not really something to talk about now, mate. I'm, you know, just come from a, you know, um, a pretty uh, big game, and uh, um, so yeah. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you.